Gracias. Hey people, it is Monday, May the 6th. The time is 4.57 in the afternoon. And it's currently a very pleasant 19 degrees Celsius. And that little guy is out enjoying the nice day in his own personal electric vehicle, I can see. <laughs> I'm on the corner of Dundas Street East and Victoria Street, looking west towards Young and Dundas and Dundas Square. But I'm going to head south here on Victoria Street, down as far as King. And then from King, I'm going to head west maybe as far as the entertainment district and then I'll make my way eventually back up to Queen Street and start heading east back along Queen Street into downtown again. So all these streets have something in common. They're related to royalty in some way. You got a king, you got a queen, and you got a Victoria named after Queen Victoria. We'll just do a bit of a downtown royalty walk, I guess. And it's my first day back in Toronto. I arrived late last night from Calgary. Didn't get home until about 1 a.m. And it feels great to be back in the city. I had a nice visit though. I was in Edmonton and Calgary for a grand total of four days altogether. I did some content in both cities, including a couple of live streams and a bunch of pre-recorded videos. So those will be coming up on the channel in the next week or so. I'm going to stagger them, I think, mixed in with some regular Toronto videos. And as much as those cities have good qualities about them. It just really makes me appreciate Toronto when I get back to this city from being out of town for a while. Approaching Victoria and Shooter. There's Massey Hall. I guess we're in the Monday rush hour. I'm going to walk through part of the financial district eventually as I walk along King Street. This is St. Mike's Hospital on the left. I can hear my keys jingling in my pocket. I just readjusted those. That's the back of the Elgin and Winter Garden Theater. We walked past the Ed Murbers Theater already, near the beginning of the video.
think that lady was either scared of the pigeons or scared of the guy lying on the sidewalk. After spending some time in two much smaller cities in Western Canada, Toronto really stands out in its bigness, its oldness, and its sort of urban density and griminess. But to be honest, I like all of those qualities in a big city. I found them to be not really apparent in Edmonton or Calgary. line construction here. All right, continue on south. people with cameras doing something. We're at Richmond Street. speed up to get past this smoking guy. The cigarette smoke is going straight into my face. Oh, okay. Problem solved. He crossed the street. Someone could be walking literally a block ahead of me. And if they're smoking, <laughs> it still bothers me. I'm very sensitive to cigarette smoke. And I really can't stand it. Adelaide Street. Still under construction. It would have been nice if after I returned from my trip, if it was all done, <laughs> that would be wishful thinking.
just about at King Street, so we'll leave one Royal Street and start walking along another one. got an extra dash of royalty here with the King Edward Hotel on King Street. It's like a King of Kings. All right, so let's start heading west along King. We'll head right through the financial district. King Subway Station. Okay, that's fine. This was my one of my favorite downtown intersections. <laughs> and looking north up Young Street. And it looks like this Starbucks has reopened. It's been closed down for quite some time for renovations. So sometimes when places say closed for renovations, they aren't lying in this case. They really were doing that. Maybe I'll cross to the other side of King. the awesome Commerce Court North Historic Art Deco office building. Once the tallest building in the city. But those days are long, 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 long gone. Picking up quite the conversation taking place behind me. <laughs> and we're at Bay and King. dirt bike in the heart of the financial district.
I always like to do the skyscraper pan around here at King and Bay. Car blocking the crosswalk as per usual. I didn't miss that while I was away from Toronto. I didn't actually see that in Edmonton or Calgary while I was there, but I'm sure that obviously happens in any city with enough traffic. And they have more than enough traffic. Although, it's not at Toronto levels. All right, let's continue on west. But let me look at this Ontario Northland bus. I've never seen one like that before. It's kind of a shorter version. That is new to me. I wonder if it's coming from my hometown, North Bay. It's heading down to the bus terminal at Bay and Lakeshore. There's a whole lot of rental bikes. I guess bike share bikes is the proper way to refer to them. Five hundred one Queen is going along King. Because Queen Street is under construction for that new subway line that I mentioned earlier. And the construction on Adelaide I mentioned earlier is preparing the old kind of disused streetcar tracks to be brought back into service so the streetcars can travel along Adelaide instead of Queen. Street. Maybe I'll cross back to the other side of King here.
Yeah. And we're making our way out of the financial district into the entertainment district, or I guess it's now called West Downtown, or Downtown West, one or the other. I don't know why they felt the need to rebrand the area. Maybe it's just not as entertainment focused as it used to be with all the new condo construction that has taken place over the last 10 years and more. And we're at University Avenue. First CN Tower sighting. Roy Thompson Hall in front. And crossing Simcoe Street. continue on west a bit further along King Street before I make my way up to Queen Street which will be Royal Street number three for the walk and let me walk past the loud news act blaring out from this place here and I'll just keep on talking as I walk past some of this music really carries for quite a distance though <laughs> The sidewalks are quite busy and quite narrow on this stretch. Royal Alex Theatre. One of several theatres along this part of King Street, which is why it was once known as the Entertainment District. And Canada's Walk of Fame is also located here. The Maple Leafs on the sidewalk with the name of a famous Canadian. A 
new Frank Gehry design skyscraper is just getting underway here. Join its many towering neighbors. It's the first of two phases under construction. You can see the rendering up there. The taller phase is a super tall, but the one under construction right now is the shorter first phase. Not a super tall, but still very tall, by far taller than any other building currently in the neighborhood. There's another better look at the renderings. So the shorter one on the left is the one that's under construction right now. It's called Forma, that's the name of the development. And more stars, or maple leafs, I should say, from Canadian Walk of Fame. And another theater, this is the Princess of Wales Theater. Miserable. King and John. There's restaurant row across the street. I think some additional new restaurants will be opening soon that were lost initially due to redevelopment, but those developments are wrapping up now and the spaces at the bottom can become new restaurants, which will extend restaurant row back a bit more closer to how it used to be. And we're heading north on John Street. This will take us up to Queen. Burgers and fries forever. <laughs> mm, just remember, there's tons of music playing all along the stretch of John Street where all these patios are. So maybe I'll cross to the other side. And back at Adelaide again. It's quite lively though, as you can see. The patios all look to be pretty full. We went to this one. No downtown would be complete without a Hooters. I think this is the only Hooters that I know of in the heart of Toronto. I'm not even sure if there are any other locations. Thought that car wasn't going to stop for a second.
Sometimes on these walks I have to do musical sidewalks and switch from one side of the street to the other as I try to avoid the music blasting from one spot or another. Those are just what you call walk tuber problems, I guess. Almost as bad as you laughing. Nice shot looking back towards the financial district. And we're getting close to Queen Street, another block and a half. Once we do get to Queen, I think it might be safe to say that the intersection of Queen and John might be one of the more well-known intersections referenced in Canada due to much music broadcasting for decades from that corner. You may remember hearing it on a daily basis, live from Queen and John. This is much music. There's a look west down Richmond Street. The big Scotiabank cinemas are here. Multi-screen cinema complex, complete with an IMAX theater. But that is slated to be re redeveloped with some residential towers. And most of those theaters will be gone forever. They are proposing to build some new theaters as part of that redevelopment, but it won't be anywhere close to the scale of the present complex. So we'll be definitely losing theaters in the downtown. And there's the old Much Music building. Devastating, you know? And the Scotiabank theater complex. Of course, a large Michaels here. This used to be a Chapters bookstore, which I used to go in quite frequently. And since I became a Michaels, I think I've only set foot inside there one time when I was with Megan and she wanted to go in and check out some supplies for her sewing projects. Right, so see, now I have to play musical sidewalks again. Oh, well, luckily the music happened to stop just as I was walking past. <laughs> and here we are, a very busy Queen and John. That music I don't have to worry about. Why are you laughing? Live music rarely results in any sort of copyright claim situation. And a look west down Queen West. You could walk for Kilometer after kilometer, and it would be busy and vibrant, full of interesting shops and restaurants. And now, we begin our walk along Queen Street, the last of the royal streets for this walk. And I suppose John Street could be lumped in there too. I'm sure there are quite a few royal figures over the years with the name John.
least that has withstood the test of time. It used to have something different on it. It never used to say CP24, of course. It used to say City Pulse News. But CTV now occupies the old Much Music building. CP24. It's a news channel owned by CTV. Crossing McCall Street. The age of the city is really apparent after you spend time in places like Calgary and Edmonton. People like to go on about how young of a city Toronto is, but by Canadian standards, it's actually quite old. Coming up to University Avenue again as we head east on Queen Street West. But I think this is a good spot to start to wrap up the video. So I hope you enjoyed the walk along the downtown Royalty Streets. I guess you could say we did a bit of a Victoria Street. We did some of King Street and some of Queen Street and John as well for any Royal Johns out there. And it's a beautiful day. The city is busy. And it's nice to be back in Toronto as I mentioned before. Looking forward to recording some nice warm weather videos in the city in the coming weeks and months. So leave a comment down below if you enjoyed or not and be sure to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And also make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal as well as via my merch store. Or you can also support the channel by becoming a channel member or by sending a super thanks if you prefer to do it that way. And you can find me on Instagram under kcontinuum. So thanks for watching and thanks to all the channel members. 
And be sure to keep checking back because, as always, I will continue.